for Eurovision, you know, like winning the national round. When we were at the at the place where they were, you know, seeing the votes and stuff, and it came to the conclusion that I'm going to be representing, when they actually announced me as the winner, a guy in the back who's actually one of the famous Czech directors screamed, are you kidding me that we're going to be represented by a Negro? Thank you so much. Uh, Benny, for accepting to uh, talk to us uh, for our special on the Eurovision. So of course, my first question will be, what does the Eurovision contest represent for you? For me, what it represents is uh, it's basically an opportunity to uh, speak or to express myself to to broader audience. I've been doing music for over 10 years. I've been, you know, uh, doing a lot, but only in Czech Republic and Slovakia. And I just, I just wanted to test myself and see, like, how would I do when it comes to other nationalities as well. Last year, uh, unfortunately, the Eurovision contest was cancelled because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, it's first time in its history since 1956. Uh, so how did that impact you because you were preparing for something that, you know, was had to be rescheduled? So, of, of course, the, the impact is massive when it comes to uh, everything, the whole, the whole plan and the whole idea of uh, how I wanted to um, present myself. Last year, uh, I wrote a song uh, with, my, with my team, Glow Sticks, from, uh, from Toronto. The song is called uh, Que Mama. Que Mama, you know. That was actually my initial way of of, uh, of the message that I wanted to basically put out there, which is I wanted to um, just tell about my story, tell about like what I've been through and uh, kind of just wanted to say to the world, yo, here I am. I was uh, born in here, raised this way. This, these were my like struggles, whatever, whatnot. And uh, yeah, here I am still smiling and dancing. I just work like that 24-7. Obviously, it, it got cancelled, and uh, I did get selected again for for this year. But the main rule was that the songs were not uh, allowed to be uh, used again. So uh, we had to come up with a new song, and um, there comes "Oh My God." Uh, "Oh My God" is another shortcut, just like "Your Mama" was for "Okay Mama." This was basically "Oh My God," but just like you know, uh, wordplay. I've already said everything in the in the "Okay Mama" song, so I didn't want to go to you know too deep and too serious. I think uh, all of the people all around the, at least all around the Europe, uh, and I think all around the world, had uh, quite a lot of, you know, negative messages and like uh, negative energy around them and stuff. Honestly, don't care. I'm happy I Trying to make you smile for a while now. Oh my God, you're beautiful. Why don't you come over? So I just wanted to uh, put out something positive and not really worry about anything too much and, uh, Definitely not about myself and about my problems because we all had problems, you know. Did a lot of them, a lot of things I wish I didn't do. Yeah. Baby, come back, won't you play? Come back. Yeah. My next question is about representation because you are a person of Czech and Angolan ancestry and you're representing the Czech Republic, which is a country and a society that, comparatively, let's say, has little uh, ethnic uh, diversity. What was your experience and, and why is it important that a person like you gets to represent the Czech Republic? Well, obviously growing up, I was uh, I was actually one of the first people uh, of mixed color, of uh, you know, like Czech, Angolan. Uh, so growing up, people, kids were scared. So if you're scared, what you do, you, you put that person down, lower, the, lower your opponents or your fears um, self-esteem and ego and, and that's what they did quite uh successfully and um yeah throughout my life growing up i i've, I've been uh, dealing with uh racism basically from the very start from uh like kids age where i not not many kids wanted to wanted to play with me uh, it, it went all the way to me being like fully adult and trying to face the uh the aggressors and like getting beaten up pretty bad a couple a couple of times having uh, injuries that are uh, uh, with me until today. I don't know, stuff like that definitely happened. That's why I actually wrote the song Ke Mama and uh, um, wanted to talk about this issue uh, to, the, to the rest of the Europe. And, uh, but also say that I'm fine, I'm happy, and I'm dancing, I'm good. The bigger stage for uh, uh, diversity, the bigger stage for uh, expressing 
one's in individual uh, uh, di differences, the better. And uh, Eurovision is definitely one of one of those big stages that uh, also to you know like check people shows that because like at one at one point yeah you, you can be like I am slightly like sometimes angry at the at the state that we're in and stuff that I have to um, you know even even up to up to date I, I still I still have to like fight for being able to say that I'm Czech you know and I'm uh, it's you know it's hard. This song was uh, uh, produced by Filip Bocek, who's, uh, apart from being an amazing producer and a radio host, he's also a band uh, member of uh, John Wall Hooker. And um, uh, it was actually written in, in my flat. We had, a, we had a session here. He was doing the instrumental and, um, and I was just like kind of thinking, it wasn't even by the way, like because we were supposed to submit three different songs for Eurovision, uh, like to select uh, like the, the Czech team. And uh, this song wasn't even written for Eurovision. It was just like, it was written for fun. I, I wrote it because I, I was just feeling lonely and we were all feeling lonely. It was like the loneliest time where we couldn't, where we were, you know, like on a lockdown, we were not able to leave the, the house uh, after nine. We were not able to even like legally meet even like our family. It was just an overall positive song. Um, and the main message was, um, yo, don't don't worry about how you look. I'm, I'm, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still buying it all. Wow, like, oh.